Hello everyone, welcome to Bajit's exam prep. So there is another uh, job opportunity for all the aspirants who have given the gate 2023. So yes, there is a recruitment process from the IOCL now and uh, this is one of the biggest, uh, you know, uh, PSUs which we look for. Being an engineer, uh, working in the with the IOCL is a very dream job for many of us. So uh, this is completely based on gate 2023 and the number of branches which are eligible for this particular uh, post are chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, electrical, instrumentation and mechanical engineering. So all these branches are eligible if they have given gate 23 with their respective gate paper code and they have qualified with very good marks because the IOCL will be uh, having the very high cutoff. So definitely you should have the very uh, good score in the gate 2023 and obviously uh, you can apply if you have a decent rank because there is no cutoff given here and the number of posts are also not given. So we don't know that up to which uh, rank they will call. So all of you can apply here and the uh, most important thing here is the eligibility criteria. So first of all you should have the BTEC degree and uh, that should have around 65% for general and OBC and uh, for SCST it is uh, 55%. So the gate paper code for chemical engineering if you look here uh, you can see clearly that obviously it is uh, for chemical engineering it is CH for civil engineering it is CE then computer science CS double E electrical instrumentation and mechanical and the if I say about your age, age limit, upper age limit for general EWS is uh, for PWBD it is 1987, 1997. Okay, non PWD it is up to 99, uh, 99, uh, 1997, and for PWBD uh, it is 1987. For OBC also it is 94, and SCS it is 92. Okay. So it is uh, should not be more than 26 year actually. So it should not be more than 26 year for the general category, right? And uh, if you go here and the paper code is given, so the electronics students are not eligible here. Uh, first of all, I will tell this thing because uh, the most of the electronics students are also watching this video. So this computer science. Uh, Excluding information computer, uh, communication technology, electrical engineering, excluding electrical and communication and power engineering and telecommunication engineering, instrumentation engineering, excluding electronics and communication and telecommunication engineering. Okay, so for civil also there is excluded exclusion of the construction and the environmental, and for chemical and the mechanical also there are some exclusions. Right, so pure mechanical engineering, instrumentation engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, and these. Uh, paper code should be there and BTEC degree in this respective branches like computer science, electrical only, instrumentation only and chemical respectively. Similarly, if I go and check the final year students, candidates for two completed their graduation in combined plus integrated disciplines, interdisciplinary subjects like mechatronics, ro robotics will not be eligible. So interdisciplinary branches are not eligible. And candidates having the qualifying degree from a discipline other than those above are not eligible to apply. So you should have only these degrees. And uh, candidates having the MTech or pursuing the MTech, uh, they can read this particular paragraph. And as I told you about the minimum qualifying degree, so this is 65% and 55% for the different uh, category. And uh, if I go into this document to avail the reservation in the post. So these are the number of documents required and uh, uh, physical fitness are also important here. So you can check the physical fitness also. So all these things you will get in the website of the IOCL and we have to just give you the important points because uh, when you apply and when you register for this particular post, you need to read each and every line and we cannot read here because it uh, uh, you cannot remember everything if I even if I read everything here you have to keep uh, this PDF with you while you are filling the form. So these are the application process 
So candidates must go through the detailed advertisement and check their eligibility before proceeding to the applying online. This is the website where you can go and check the uh, link for the registration. A scanned copy of the color photo, uh, passport size photo will be required and a scanned copy of signature will be required. So prior to applying online, you should have to register uh, with your email ID, mobile number in the online portal and uh, they will send some messages also in this and uh, minimum uh, the one year activation should be there of the email ID mobile number and uh, at the start of the application process candidates will be asked for the details of the recruitment date of birth gate 23 registration number will be required gate 23 discipline will be required and marks obtained in the gate 23 will be required out of 100 not gate is score the total marks will be required so all these things you have to read okay uh, carefully and then uh, there are number of instructions given before applying and uh, the merit list will be so this is important thing that the selection will be based on the selection will be based on these three things marks in the gate 23 personal interview and the gd and gt group task and group discussion will be there short listing process short listing of the eligible candidates for the further selection process shall be comprised of gd gt and ei and short listing shall be done category wise in the descending order of their marks obtained in the gate 23 and for the respective discipline and ye uh, aapka document readiness ho jayega what are the documents you should have and then the merit list will be there according to all these three right and then joining time and the placement and the nature of job is given remuneration so the salary that is again one of the best thing in the iocl which is uh, one of the largest salary paying in among the other psus if you have seen so will you will get the minimum fifty thousand for during your apprenticeship and the total apprenticeship uh, you will get the fifty thousand but after that you will have the approximately 16 lakhs per annum remuneration of the company okay so this is uh, uh, 60000 will be fixed uh, for the graduate apprenticeship engineer and then uh, uh, rest of the things like uh, other benefits of the psu you will get like hra uh, ta da uh, pf and uh, leave engagement leave travel concession etc or you will get medical facilities everything you will get here and it will go up to 16.8 lakh so there are few frequently asked question also and the last date of application is 22nd of june so this is important that uh, the last date of application is 22nd june this is the first june so you have 22 days and you can fill this uh, so these are the frequently asked question which you generally have the doubt these are related here uh, whether the CGPA, how you can relate the CGPA with the percentage because they ask for the 65% the 55%. So, this uh, how it is to convert it that you have to uh, read it from the point number G. Okay. So, this is it from my side. So, this is another good opportunity and whenever another new notification will come uh, for all of you, I will bring that notification in front of you. Thank you.